Hey guys, Ivan here, and today we're gonna do something very, very interesting. At least I know I'm gonna have a lot of fun because I love doing this show analysis. We got such a case of apples and oranges at this show. As you can see, Stanimal and Hassan got in a top two call out at Vancouver Pro. And honestly, guys, I have no idea who's gonna win this. Obviously, the first thing that I'm sure pops to your eyes is how much bigger Hassan actually is. He's definitely way, way bigger. He makes Stanimal look like he's still in the classic, but as far as conditioning, Stanimal makes Hassan look like he's doing a guest posing. I think Hassan did improve his conditioning from his previous past showings. I mean, look at this lat spread. He really dwarfs Stanimal right here, so he's obviously way, way bigger. But I don't know what this looks like in person, maybe he is just not that conditioned, I think the lighting here is very very good, and it probably looks Hassan look even better, even more conditioned than he really is, but it still does the same thing for, for Stanimal, so you can compare the conditioning, you can see that uh, of course Stanimal is in better shape, but is that conditioning difference gonna be enough for Stanimal to beat Hassan? I don't think so, I'm gonna show you a couple of photos which are in better quality than this video, so we can get a better idea of what is actually going on here and why do I think this is such a good comparison because in that video Hassan just looks like he's completely dwarfing Stanimal even though Stanimal is in better shape in that video it definitely looks like Hassan is winning but I think these photos are however telling a little bit of a different story I'm sure it's completely different in person as well but we got what we got and this is the first pose from double bicep so as you can see V taper that's the first thing that pops to my eyes right here, and it is one of the more important factors in bodybuilding. As you can see, the size of the waist compared to the size of the legs and the shoulder width, the lat pop, and how everything flows combined with the arms and legs and everything, uh, I think Stanimal just has a better V-taper or X-taper. Even though Hassan is smoking him with the leg size difference and just overall size, Still, his midsection is a little bit blown out, his waist is a little bit too blocky, especially compared to Stanimo, and also the, the sharpness through the chest, through the lats, through the arms, and especially through the legs. Now, why I think this is so interesting is because you guys know that Stanimo is coming from man's physique. Then he did classic and 212, and finally he made it in the open, and Hassan is probably the biggest guy in IVB Pro right now, in IVB Pro League. I think he's one of the biggest, most massive freaks today. So, I was telling you before this show, the only way somebody is gonna beat Hassan is if it is an okay bodybuilder with fine conditioning, because we know Hassan is not gonna bring the best conditioning ever. And he brought, I think, a little bit better conditioning, but still he is not shredded and that's why I find this so interesting somebody who is who has obviously much worse genetics for growth who is coming from man's physique who somehow managed to climb through the ranks it's a really motivating story honestly it's animal what he did uh, somebody like that somebody who is obviously on a smaller side can actually push one of the biggest monsters in today because he came in prepared better than Hassan now this pose in particular front double bicep who would I give it to I mean, those legs of Hassan are really drawing my attention, but just the overall conditioning, the overall wee taper, the overall flow of this entire pose, I think I think I like uh, Stanimal more. I don't know about you guys, but and I know this is open bodybuilding; it's not classic, but still, I think he did enough. I think he I think he's winning this. I think he's beating Hassan in this pose. Now let's check out the front lat spread pose. And before I saw it, I would expect Stanimal. To beat Hassan easily in this pose because I wouldn't expect Hassan to be able to open up, to show the lats, to make the waist look small, and to be not very conditioned, of course, like in any other pose. But actually, in this one, he did really well. I mean, Hassan, even though, yeah, Stanimal has the angle here, so the size comparison is not exactly perfect, but it is what we got. And uh, now, again, like legs for sure. I mean, <laughs> Hassan's are much bigger, and Stanimal has much sharper legs. But I, li I like the way Hassan is hitting this pose. I think he actually made his waist look pretty small. I mean, the, the, the stomach is protruding a little. And that's definitely a minus. And so is the separation in the legs. But uh, the way he flexes the chest, he's showing some separation there. 
and uh, I like the size of his arms and how he's hitting this pose and because there is a big gap between uh, Stanimal's lats and arms like his lats obviously are not that massive uh, I would give this one to Hassan, yeah Bodybuilding is not all about conditioning, don't get me wrong guys, I mean conditioning is very very important, it's one of the more important things, but muscularity is also very important. But as long as you make like the minimum requirement for mass, and I think Stanimal is kind of close to that, you're not gonna lose because somebody is like 10 times more massive than you if they are not conditioned. Now in this show I think Hassan is, his conditioning is improved, and he is a lot bigger than Stanimal, especially you can see it here in the side leg. And also in the in the arms from the side. And probably chest thickness as well. Even though Hassan doesn't really have the angle here, I will give this one to him. Unfortunately, we don't get to see the side tricep comparison. We got the front tricep, however. <laughs> Both of these guys are doing this pose completely incorrectly, but I will probably tolerate this. You can do your poses whichever way you think looks best for you, but I mean this is not side tricep. I don't know if there are any requirements, do these guys need to hold their, their hands together back, behind their backs? I don't think that's also the case, because you know how Rolly Winkler is to do this pose. So I have no idea what is the standard here. Could these guys be hitting front double bicep when they say side tricep? Maybe they could and they would just lose the pose? I don't know. But yeah, we got two si front actually tricep poses. And you can see like the quads from the front and you can see the chest, unfortunately you can't really see the triceps at all and you can't see anything from the sides because they are definitely standing straight from the front. It's really hard to compare this one because they are hitting a non-existent pose. Who would I give it to? I have no idea, let's say it's a tie. Alright, now we got a very important pose, it's back double bicep. Now here, just like in all other poses, you can see the size difference, and it's a big size difference, especially in the shoulders. Like, compare the size of Hassan's delts, and then compare it to a Stanimal's delts, and the arms. I mean, look at the biceps, how much they're popping, look at the triceps, how much they're hanging. So, he's obviously way bigger. Also, the legs, much bigger, but where is the detail? I mean, look at the back, look at the back details. Look at the lower lats on Stanimal. You can see where they're inserting. You can see the lines. You can see the Christmas tree. No skin is folding. There is no water there. There is no fat. He's dry. He's detailed. And he's matching Hassan with, with muscle. I mean, obviously Hassan is bigger, but not in back. Not that much. Also, Hassan is pretty narrow to the shoulders. And Stanimal is not. He's having a better wee taper here. Shoulder to waist ratio. Maybe Hassan is bigger, but ratios are what matters more, you know, proportions. Legs, even though I said Hassan's are bigger, there is no detail in the hamstrings. There is no hardness. There is no dryness in the, in the hamstrings. And as far as the glutes, it's even worse. Like, those glutes are definitely not conditioned for the stage. They are good for four or five weeks out, but not for stage, not for this level of competition. And as you can see, Stanimal's glutes are dry. They are definitely in hamstrings as well. So this one, for all the reasons I just mentioned, Stanimal wins this one. Now this one is a little bit different story. You can say kind of the same things like you said before, but there is one thing that is different, and it's usually the case with the guys who have narrow clavicles, who have, who does, who don't have really widest shoulders. So when they are hitting the back double bicep, they can't really open up and show the width because they don't have it. But in the back lat spread, those guys usually look very impressive. And so does Hassan. His back looks super freaking massive in this pose. There is a whole bunch of muscle on that back, on those shoulders, on those arms, that he is completely dwarfing Stanimal. Again, just like before, Stanimal has the edge because of conditioning in the lower body, especially. He has the glutes, he has the hamstrings, but because his back is way smaller than Hassan's, because Hassan is completely dwarfing him in this one, not only with the legs, but also with the back, and it doesn't look that bad. I mean, he's spreading the, the water and the fat, so you can't really see uh, that film that he has in the back, in the back double when everything is uh, just mushed together. Uh, now that he uh, opened up, that he that he stretched the skin and everything, he doesn't look like he's that much worse in conditioning, and you don't really see the, the structural flaw. So I will give this one to Hassan, yeah. And for the end, we got this last photo of the most muscular pose. And here, you can see 
how much bigger Hassan is. So here you can see it clearly. Now this looks like open versus classic. But then again, look at the details. Look at the, look at the hardness in the legs of Stanimal. And also the hardness and the details in the chest. But then again, you look at the arms, look at the shoulders, just the legs, overall mass. And it's all, it's all Hassan for sure. So, yeah, once again, even though there are some arguments for Stanimal winning this show, I think it's going to go to Hassan. I think he is the one who needs to go to the Olympia, not Stanimal. I don't think he's ready yet. But this is a really good story. This is really motivating me. This is really awesome to see, to hear that uh, Stanimal actually pushed Hassan. A guy from man's physique and classic physique made it to the top, to the open pro. And he actually pushed one of the biggest, if not the biggest guy in the IV Pro League and almost got the Mr. Olympic qualification. This is not over yet. At the time I'm making this video, I don't know the results. It could go to Stanimal's favor. He could win this one because of conditioning. Maybe it's much different in person. Maybe Stanimal is killing him with conditioning and Hassan is really off. I don't know what it looks like in person. Based on the videos and the photos, I think Hassan did enough. And I think he's going to go to the Olympia. I think he deserves to go. I just hope he's going to be more conditioned over there, unless he wants to finish in a last spot, which is not impossible. But yeah, again, I hope he's going to bring good conditioning because this is not good. This is definitely not good. He's winning this show barely. There are only six guys, and the other guy that is pushing him is from Man's Physique, you know, originally. And I don't know yet, but maybe he's even gonna beat Hassan. And Hassan won't be able to go to the Olympia. If that happens, that's gonna be really embarrassing, I gotta say. But, you know, it's an interesting comparison for sure. A classic case of apples and oranges. Whatever you guys think, though, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to show me some support to like the content that I'm making for you guys and you want to keep me making it, there is the link down below. It will lead you to the Old School Labs website. All you need to do is just try any of the Old School Labs supplements. You're going to love them for sure. But how you can help me out is by using the code EVAN, which will also give you a 15% discount. So guys, thank you so much for all your support. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.